Welcome. Welcome back to Last Impact. I'm glad you guys liked the stream. Sorry I can't talk too much because my throat hurts, but I, I'm so glad you guys liked it. I have the worst throat in the world. Not really. I, like I said, I say that, but there's people who use, like, the throat buttons. I'm happy and thankful, you know? If it meant being, like, having, like, cancer or having a weak vocal cords, I'd take having weak vocal cords. It's fine. Not a big deal. But just, you know what? I think it's just God nerfing me because if my throat wasn't so weak, I would be able to stream so much, guys. Like, I would probably be... Because, like, I can fight being tired no matter what. And if you guys watch my streams, my 12-hour marathons, I always have energy. Even ask Pop. One time he watched my 19-hour Majora's Mask stream, and even at the 18-hour mark, I was still dancing and jumping around. I have, I always have energy. It's always just my throat. So if, if I had a perfect throat, I'd be doing 24 to 36-hour streams constantly. So it's just... uh. It's just me being nerfed because I was too overpowered in the patch notes. I get it. I understand. Fair enough. I'm glad you're getting a Marie plush. I don't like. I don't really like to think about it because it makes me very sad. Because in 2019, I was going to get a Marie plush, but I told myself I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it next year. It'll give me something to look forward to. And then the pandemic happened, and my favorite anime convention in the world got canceled, and I wasn't able to go and buy it. And now it's 2021, and my favorite anime convention in the world got canceled, and I still can't buy it. I could buy it off Amazon, but it's not the same. It just makes me sad, because I can't do my favorite thing in the world. I actually remember you, Tropical Ice Cream. Just because ice cream is one of my favorite things, and uh, I like tropical flavors. Um, just like there's somebody who used to watch my stream, and I'm not trying to dox them, but uh, they also unfollowed our stream and left the Discord server unannounced, and they had a, a, a name that was very delicious as well. So I'm glad you're not like them. Now what the frick was I doing? It's okay. I'm not, I'm just, I like to, I'm just doing a bit. I'm not actually upset about it. Crystal Caves. I've like done everything. Let's go to, uh... oh yeah, we're in that spooky village or some shit. Oh yeah, I forgot about the hard level. Let's do that for a bit. I'm so glad you're having fun with your new computer. Um, I hope that you get a handle on Windows. I know you've been using, you know, uh, OS for Microsoft, or uh, uh, Mac OS or whatever for a long time. Hopefully you get the hang of Windows and you just get to have fun with it and you uh, have a good time. I really do. Sorry, I can't talk too much. My brain's fried. I fucked Zelda and shit, but we're just playing some more Last Impact. If you don't know what this is, this is a Super Mario fan game with all new worlds, levels, and stories. Mario has to stop the moon from crashing into the earth. Same thing, dude. I mean, 2020 just sucked. 2020 should have been the best year of my life because I was going to go to an awesome anime convention. I was going to see Hatsune Miku live in concert, and then none of that ended up happening. And it just makes me really upset. I'm hoping that things start to change. I don't remember this being the music for this level, but okay. It's okay. I just have to have hope that eventually all the things that I love will happen again, and then I'll be able to do them all the time, and then nothing will hold me back. I'll be able to do them every single day, and I'll be able to uh, have a good time and experience a lot of things that I really love. I've or just by dying once, I've already been more upset in the the past 10 minutes playing this game than I was all 12 and a half hours of Breath of the Wild. When I play Zelda and I die, I actually get happy because the game's so good that I know it's not my fault. When I play this dog shit, I know it's the game's fault, man. <laughs> yeah, a Nightbot's on a lunch break. He'll be back in a second. Nightbot's on a quick lunch break. He'll return in a moment. If you just wait like five more minutes, he'll be back. I mean, it is sad, but there's a lot of people's lives who are messed up by last year. What? Is who Keezy? It's a, such a long explanation. Pop or Rainbow Kappa, do you want to explain why Nightbot's banned? I don't feel like explaining it, and I don't think I should because I'm not the one who banned him. So if somebody would like to explain why Nightbot is banned, um... Oh, the fact that I died so many times is sad. You try to play this, dude. This is the hardest level I've played in the whole game. 
I don't know who the, what the fuck you're talking about, Tater. It would help a lot if this camera didn't, like, blow chode. Can I fucking go? I don't know. I can't see shit, dude. Oh, I'm sorry, Taters. I missed your middle comment. I saw the first comment and the last one, but not the middle one. Uh, no, 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 no. I said that their name had something to do with something delicious. Their name did not... Keezy's name has nothing delicious in it. It's just like a wannabe rapper name, dude. No, I... <laughs> you wouldn't know. It was not really a regular. It was somebody that only watched like five streams probably total. I only remember their name because it was like a delicious like sounding name. Like tropical ice cream. Like that's something you remember because you have like a visual with it. It was like a sweet candy name or something. Why the fuck would you read Dragon Ball? Why? I never heard of anybody reading that. <laughs> like why would you read it instead of watch it? I thought... For, for a series like that, you would think most of the appeal would be the animation. I haven't gotten to eat mac and cheese since I was on my new medication. I have so much respect for, like, full-time streamers. I really, really do. Um, because a lot of people like to give them a hard time because they think that they're, like their job or whatever they do is easy and just by doing this challenge I mean I prom it's like so much harder than I ever thought it would be it's so much harder than I ever thought it would be to uh I mean I guess in their defense they that's all they do where like I still have to go to work and stuff <coughs> oh god I heard you talk about that in the Discord. Super Sentai. I swallowed my water wrong. God damn it. Um. <clears throat> I swallowed my water wrong. Really bad. I saw you already talk about that in the Discord. I already commented. Majora's Mask won the Bit War. Majora's Mask won the Bit War. Not by much, though. It was, like, very close. Very, very close all the way to the end. It's funny you guys are joking around about potatoes, but potatoes are one of the few things that I can eat. So I've been eating them a lot. Like I've been eating like mashed potatoes and sweet potatoes and stuff like that. I've always liked them, but like I, I, I just, I've been eating them way more than normal because of I, that they're like good for me right now. Okay, well, I don't think you're understanding. The problem is that when you long jump, Mario has more height. So I have like less of a window that I can go in. I'll try. <laughs> so yeah, Majora's Mask did win the bit war. Yeah, we've uh we've had catering orders at my job that are like six hundred to a thousand dollars, and it's just horse shit. But yeah, Majora will be the next Zelda marathon that I will do. And I'm going to do something special for it, but I'm not ready to talk about it quite yet. Because uh, I just have to sort some stuff out and plan it. But it's going to be... It's going to be cool. I hope you guys like it. So, it'll be very cool! And I hope that you guys look forward to 12 plus hours of Majora's Mask. Story lore run. I just need like a little bit of a break before I do another 12 hour stream, that's all. Make it a surprise... Uh, I will, but I'll, I mean, I'm not, uh, I will, kind of. You guys will know before I stream what's going to make it special, but still. <clears throat> um, I might do some small Zelda streams before Majora, though. 
Like, I might, uh... One of the things I was thinking of was attempting the optional dungeon from Twilight Princess with three hearts. That's something I've never done before. Um, so doing the Cave of Ordeals. I've been thinking about streaming a run of that. Just doing uh, Cave of Ordeals and see if I can be uh, beat it with three hearts. Because I've, I've never done that ever. So I've been thinking about doing that. So I might do some of that. You never saw that optional dungeon? Well, that'd be perfect. Yeah, uh, it's really, really hard. <laughs> it's the hardest, like, challenge in the game. I've never done it on three hearts, so... I've been thinking about doing that, too. What's up, Marco? Welcome to the stream, dude. Welcome to more Last Impact. The game that gets less and less fun every time I play it. The first time I played it, it was so magical. Second time, I was like, oh, this is really cool. This, this level's not as good as the other level, though. And, like, by this time, I just actually actively dislike this game, and it's just painful. Every time I've streamed this, I've enjoyed it less than the last time. <laughs> it's okay. I had two game overs before this one level, and now I have, like, the six. Bomb Wizard was fun, though. I don't know. I, I, uh... I had fun with that. Bomb Wizard was a good time. I just don't understand, like, this random s spike in difficulty. Like, the game's, like, normal chat, like, normal difficulty, normal difficulty, then, like, insanely impossible hard. There's, like, no, like, gradual scale. Just, like, from fun and challenging to just utter bullshit within, like, a blink of an eye. That whole, yeah, everything went to shit after that ice cream level. I'm not even lying. Like, all, like that sucked away all my love for this game. Like, easily. But, I don't know if we're gonna hit 100 hours tomorrow or Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know. Probably never. I hate this fucking camera. I... It wouldn't let me jump. I was just hitting the jump button. It just would not let me jump. Yeah, I hate that ice cream level, dude. The ice cream level ruined my... Ruined, like, everything about this game. It was actively so awful that it, like, made me... Why the fuck can't I jump, dude? What the fuck's going on with my controller? How... How's everyone... I'm just, why can't I jump anymore? What the fuck's going on, dude? The game just won't let me jump. I can't eat an orange. I can't eat any citrus fruits for the next week and a half. I can't eat anything fried, anything citrus, anything really dairy. I can have like almond milk. I can have frozen yogurt, just not ice cream or cream or sour cream or anything like that. Oh, nice, Pop! Dang, dude, that's uh, you're thinking outside the box with that. Yeah, nobody's gonna say big follows randomly. That's actually really smart, dude. Hell yeah. I would have never thought of that shit. Yo, what's up, GTM? Thanks for the good luck, man. I need this shit. Because this level's ass, man. I, 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 this level's so bad, I wish I could smash my head into a spiked wall. What the fuck's wrong with my controller, dude? I hate this game. I hate this fucking game. I hate everybody who worked on this game. They all deserve prison time. You haven't played Last Impact in three years? This is my first time playing, and I wish I never played it. This is my first time playing, and it's... I wish I never played it. But I hope that you're doing good. Fuck! <laughs> I swear, I'm not even bad at Mario. It's not even that I'm bad at Mario. There's something about this game that I just... The camera's shit, invisible walls are shit, I can't do anything. GTM is a legend. Yeah, I've, I've watched him before. 
God damn it. Pretty sure anybody who's played Mario 64 as disgustingly much as I have knows who GTM is on Twitch. GTM is a time zone? True. What's up, Pi? Welcome to Last Shit Packed. This, this, I, I just want the camera to work. I want the camera to work, dude. Plus, it's like hot today, dude. Yeah, how the fuck did GTM get partnered? What the hell? GTM got partnered before me, chat. It's time to time to retire. Time to move to my island and, and just give up. No, for real though, congrats, dude. Congrats, congrats. That's it, chat. T time to pack up our bags. It's been a fun run. Time for the milky finishers to uh time for the milky finishers to um call it quits. We had a good run. The Epic Man's mom is better than this. Yep. <clears throat> Did you always have those dashes at the end of your name, though? I don't remember that. I thought you had, like, numbers at the end of your name. Maybe I'm just on crack. Yeah, dude. Oh, duh, yeah, your name was GTM on Discord. Oh, that's what it was. Your name was GTM on Discord, but your name on Twitch was Racing Man. Yeah, because I would always call you Racist Man. There we go. Now it makes sense. Quick, GTM's partnered now, guys. We got to cancel him. <laughs> Fuck. No, why was there a ceiling? No, come on. Fuck, I don't know how to beat this. Now what? I've never done this section before. Fuck, I'm not- I'm not getting red coins, or is that- is the thing going up still? Did I win? <laughs> I'm kidding though, dude. Uh, you do 16 star, right? Or what, uh, category? We finally did it though, chat! We finally did it! I didn't know there was gonna be more of the level. My throat hurts because I was streaming 12 hours yesterday. There are ghosts, coins, and other tricky things living between these walls. Nice! Holy shit! Okay, well, no wonder you're- partnered you definitely deserve that every category has been optimized so well crazy you know what I'm sad about and I, I I'm only bringing this up because I'm pretty sure you and me are the only people in this chat that know what the fuck I'm talking about I was looking up the uh, this was a couple weeks ago actually I was looking up the, um, K's anime opening that Neil had made, like, last year or two years ago or whatever, and I think he removed it because I can't find it anymore. I was looking for it, and it was so fucking funny, and I can't find it anymore. It was one of the funniest things I ever saw on YouTube. Okay, yeah, it was like 2019 or something, or 2018, or, and I, was, I wanted to look it up, but it, it said that he, like, privated it or moved, or removed it or something. I should have had that shit downloaded. I should have had that shit downloaded. I'm so mad. I wonder if I can find it. I I've looked. I looked just a few weeks ago and the video was privatized, but... I don't know why... I... Yeah, it's, it's gone. I had it in my favorites playlist. Why did he remove it, dude? I should have downloaded that thing. I'm pissed. I wonder if... Yeah. That was one of the funniest things I ever saw on all- WAIT A SECOND! Oh my god, never mind. I am a genius. I'm 500 IQ. He removed it from YouTube, but I actually have it downloaded on my computer. I did. Oh my god, I actually did- I downloaded it. I downloaded the file using YouTube Downloader. Oh my fucking god, I actually have it. I okay, this is great. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. I actually fucking have it. I just went into my download history and typed in Keza Manowar, and it says, yeah, from like 2019, uh, February 5th, 
I download it. 5.52 p.m. I actually did it. Hold up. You forgot about Neil? Dude, okay. Shh, don't tell Neil. He tried to... He tried to... He tried to remove this from YouTube, but I'm bringing it back. All right, hold up. This is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. It's fucking... One of the best parts is when, uh, like... Kaze gets mad and he slaps the desk and it makes it like loud as fuck. Hold up. Well, I will, I will I be able to like, hold up. Let me see if I can get it to play. Oh my God. I'm, I'm fucking happy. I'm so happy that I downloaded this shit. <laughs> okay, great. Hold up. Holy shit. Now I have it forever. Neil, Neil can't erase this p part of Mario 64 history. Give me a second here. Hmm. How do I, uh, how do I capture, how do I capture, um, Windows Media Player? Probably can't, huh? Whatever, I'll just have to hear it on my own. It's not a big deal. I won't be able to hear it, but you guys will. That's all that really matters. But this is one of the funniest freaking things I've ever seen in my life. What me? What possessed me to download this? Well, thank you, Zach Lolliot from the past. Zach Lolliot from the past just saved me now. So that's all that matters. I gotta back this shit up. I should re-upload this. <laughs> all right, here you guys go. Enjoy, enjoy this shit. Oh, stop, 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 stop. All right, enjoy this bullshit. <laughs> That's so loud. It's so fucking loud. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm gay. I'm too good. We don't like each other. Derby is a painting guy. <laughs> I'm too good. Oh, it's working. It's working. It's working. First try, yeah. Fucking incredible. <laughs> fucking incredible. Top 10 anime. Dude, fucking classic. Can I send you this shit? Yeah. Um, hold up. Are, are we in any of the same servers? Are, like, are, are we in any of the same Discord server? You're in Kaze's server, right? Well, if you're in Kaze's server, um, I'll, I'll upload the video and then just set it to unlisted. Yeah. Um, I'll upload the video to my channel, but uh, I'll make it unlisted and I'll just send you the link. So, there we go. I'm so glad you, jo you joined the stream, because you reminded me of that, and I would have never checked, like, my long-forgotten download folder of my computer. That was, like, buried deep in my computer. I'll, uh, I'll upload it, privatize it, or unlist it, and then send you the link. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck ever happened to Neil, dude? <laughs> Neil was that was demonic. How do I get out of this flower? Please don't die, because I never want to have to do that beginning part again. Young and naive. <laughs> Fucking Neil. I'm too good. Yeah, it's something else.
Gosh, I forgot that all about that. That was a blast from the past. Some Twitch user named Niels or something. And he would always give pay K's bits and like say like the weirdest shit like, Oh, you're just young and naive or something. He would say that every day. He'd always be like, you're just young and naive. That was like his catchphrase. Yeah, he'd always like, he'd always like join the stream and be like, K's my boy, you are the greatest. K's, you are the greatest. I don't know, I think that maybe something was wrong with them. I'll never forget, GTM sent me a DM one time and he's like, Hey man, I don't know, I think just, just between you and me, I don't think something's right with Neil. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you could, I could tell. Nobody could ever figure out, he was either like, he was like the Andy Kaufman of our generation, dude. Nobody knew if he was like, mentally like, un hit, unfit, or if he was just like, so self-aware he was like, fucking with everybody. Nobody had any idea. He has to be somewhat like mentally sound because he made that video and that takes some amount of editing and, you know, power. How the fuck they get out of here? I could never tell what was real and what was fake with that guy. Those were like the old days. I need one more red coin. Where the hell is it? The duality of man, truly. And then he like just disappeared for a while. But for some reason, he decided to remove that video because I had it favorited or like liked or in a playlist of like my favorite videos. And then I went to watch it a few weeks ago and it was removed. And I was like, damn, I'm never going to see that again. But I had it downloaded. I don't know why I downloaded it, but I'm glad I did. Because now that's the only way anybody can watch it. Where the shit is this last red coin? Is this gonna kill me or like? What the fuck's going on with this shit? Dally just did punishment time. <laughs> Sayonara, dude. Where is he at? If I was a red coin, where would I be, Chet? If I was the eighth red coin, where would I be hiding? No problem, dude. Good luck on uh, 16 star. And I'll see ya when I see ya. That was worth it just to see that video again. It said that there was a coin in the walls? Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. You thought there was a boo in the wall by the gate? Okay. This one, if I go inside this wall, there's no, well, there is a floor texture, isn't there? But this one, I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Oh, oh, there we go, because I had a path. Well, where the hell's the, oh, wait, well, what the fuck was the point? What? I, there was a fake wall, but there's no coin in here. What the hell? Is there another one on the other side just like this? Uh, tomorrow. I was gonna do it today, but I just had to run a bunch of errands. And my stream already started late. Check closer to the entrance. My stream already started late, and I didn't have much free time today. I had to, like, go to the store, and then go to my grandparents' house, and then it was time to stream already. But tomorrow, like, the moment I get free time... I will continue watching it. There was one near the entrance by this boo. I ran over it. What, the red coin? What? What do you mean blind alert? What? Where's the red coin?
There's a light part on the floor? What the fuck? Are you... What? Oh, this? <laughs> Am I going this? Oh, 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 ah! Uh... Guys, I'm telling you, my brain is melted, alright? Please! Please, cut me some slack, chat. Oh, cut me some slack, chat. This is the most I've ever streamed in a single month. But we got this. Now we have to go to the spooky village of infinite sin. Sorry for my negativity today. I'm actually in a really good mood and very happy. But I'm just w w wiped out. But I'm actually in a- mentally, I'm in a great mood. Like, I'm nothing but ha sunshine and rainbows in my brain, which is rare. Um, it's just that it doesn't sound like I'm very happy, because it's hard to talk, and I'm sleepy. <laughs> but I actually am pretty in, in a pretty great mood. So. Don't let my uh, physical form fool you. I'm actually in a, a pretty great mood. Especially after yesterday. Dude, Breath of the Wild, that finale, though. Oh my gosh, what a finale. Here's the dusky- oh god, this is the one where we have to fight Pink Sands! I forgot about this, this is where we have to fight Pink Sands. Why did the water get cut off of your house? Were your, was your family delinquent on the payments? <laughs> Where the- oh yeah, we, we, we've been here. Cause wasn't there- yeah, there's was like a ghost up there or some shit. Oh yeah, you've talked about your landlord before. Isn't this the place where people were talking about like killing witches and burning them and shit, right? Hold up. Sorry, the market is closed today. Everyone's preparing for the witch bombing later. Yeah, this is the place. What a bunch of happy-go-lucky fellows. This place is pretty cool, despite it being very strange. The church is currently being haunted by ghosts because the damned witch cursed us. I recommend you don't enter it if you want to talk. I recommend you don't enter it if you want to talk to God anyway. You can go to the top of the church. If you want to help the church out or beg for forgiveness, you can also leave gold, coins, or other valuable belongings at the top of the church's tower. Oh, really? Damn, Taters, I didn't know that. Yeah, this is where we laugh. This is this is the level where we last left off when I played this. And there's a big purple sands fight. Where is it? I just, I can't navigate because the town is so damn dark. But the music's good at least. Luckily the music is like bumping and banging. Yeah, well, I didn't know you were still there. How was I supposed to know you were there for a whole month? I thought you were just visiting. Alright. Again, this, this level's really cool, but if it was a little bit brighter or easier to see some stuff, maybe it's just my monitor's dark. I don't know. We already talked to him, so. Alright. Last time I fought this guy and he whooped my ass. Let's see. No, 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 no. Come on. Well, uh, he whooped my ass. Let's see if I can beat him on my first try. My hand-eye coordination is not the best right now. But yeah, if you guys are wondering which game won the Bit War, it was Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask won the Bit War and that will be our next big Zelda marathon. But like I was saying, um, I might do a couple small Zelda streams before the next big marathon. Uh, Yes, Super Sentai. That's why. It's not actually Sans. It's a pink boo with Megalovania. Um, it's really cool, though, because you'll see. You can, you can only see him in the mirror. You can only see his reflection, not him. But um, I'm thinking about doing a, uh, a couple streams of uh, the Cave of Ordeals. So either this week or next week, streaming the Cave of Ordeals. That's my, uh, not doing, no story lore for Twilight Princess, but I want to go back to Twilight Princess and do the optional dungeon, which I never did. Because I've never actually beaten the Cave of Ordeals with three hearts. Ever in my life. 
I've beaten the Cave of Ordeals, obviously, but I've never beaten the Cave of Ordeals with three hearts, which is like a challenge gauntlet. So I've been thinking about trying to do that just to cross another challenge off my Zelda list before the next marathon. The Cave of Ordeals is an optional dungeon in Twilight Princess, which we did not do in our marathon. We skipped over it in our marathon because we didn't have time for it. But uh, it's an optional dungeon in Gerudo Desert. So, I've been thinking about doing that. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Ready for Megalovania? <laughs> this part's easy. It's the part where he turns into the big one that I can't do. What the fuck? Never mind, I guess this part's not easy. What the fuck, guys? Kill three at once. Oh god, not the booby. Come on, dude. I thought there was only one. There's two of them. No, not like that. Like, the boo, but he's a bee. Because he's yellow and he stings. He's a boo that's a bee. Get it? It's fine. Shut up. You understand what I'm talking about. No, I'm dead! It's a... It's a... Should I, said, should I have said a bee boo? Would that make more sense? I should have said boo bees because there was two of them. Quit! I, my brain is too fried to talk like this. Come on. It's the, 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 the yellow guy. Want me to say the things? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm going crazy. Bee boo boo bop boo boo bee. <laughs> no, the one that goes bee boo boo bop boo boo bop. can never tell like how do I how am I supposed to get this this star that's in prison huh yo <laughs> what's up gel apocalypse yeah uh I don't know if you remember this but it, just for a little bit of a story back when Andrew and I first streamed Undertale ever like the game was pretty new and we were just playing it and we got to Sans um and he was getting his ass whooped at Sans I'll never forget that after five weeks he promised that if he didn't beat Sans within six weeks, that he would get a tattoo of Sans on his ass. And luckily, on the last day, he actually beat Sans that last day. If he would have taken one more day to beat Sans, he would have had to get a tattoo of Sans on his ass. I hate this camera. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. Yeah, he was going, he, like, I would, the chat was going to make him. But he luckily beat Sans in time. Yeah, chat was going to pay for it and everything. Oh, he would have. Ask, if, if you guys ever see Icy Warrior again, Icy Warrior, was he was going to drop the donation and Andrew was going to have to go and pay for it. It was part of the bet. But he beat him in time. I would have never promised that because I, I wouldn't get a tattoo for anything on stream. God damn it. There. Machine gun killer. Come on, how was I supposed to see them? So, yeah, this boss fight, you can only see their reflections. You can't see them. So it's like really freaking hard to like tell where they're at. God, here comes the two. Nice, dude. Real mature. Come on, dude. Leave me alone. It's not very nice to me. Yeah, it's the bee boos. Come on, turn purple. Yes. All right, now this is the hard part. This is the this. Oh, guys, the boo bombs. Oh shit, boo bombs. No boo bombs. No, please. Boo bomb, please. You guys ever watch that show that was like really demonic for kids called Booba? It was like a bunch of like disgusting looking animals that'd be like Booba, Booba. And it was like a bunch of weird shit and it would like brainwash kids into like murdering their animals. How close does he have to be? 
Never saw Booba, dude. It was a fucked up show. Should have been taken off the air. Get him! How close do I have to be to him? What is his hitbox, man? What is his hitbox? Super Sentai remembers that shit? I'm glad somebody remembers it. You guys don't believe me? You guys think I'm making up shit? Do I gotta play the Booba opening? It'd be like, Booba. And then the kids would like worship the Booba. If. No wonder like all of like the younger generation is like dumb as shit now because they watch Booba. Brainwash them into like. Teach them how to think. And one of them's name was like Ding 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 Ba. It was like Bing Ba, Boom Ba, Ding 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 Ba. And like they were like, the kids would like worship them as if they were like gods. Hold up. You guys don't fucking believe me. You guys never believe me. You always think Zach Lawley's making up shit. And then I show you guys and I always have proof. There you guys go. Want some demonic shit? This is for kids, yeah, dude. You guys like this? And yeah, then Booba would like be summoned from <laughs> summoned from the ocean, and the kids would like worship them as their new god. <laughs> Where's the part where they come to life? No, I'm just gonna skip to that. Wait, well, how come they don't come to life? Where the fuck's the part where they? What the hell? Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I gotta take a break. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> I gotta take a fucking break. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my. What the. Holy shit. Alright, well. I gotta take a break. I gotta just walk away for a moment. I, uh. I need to think about my life for just a few seconds. No, shut up. <laughs> no more Mario music, please. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Welcome back to more Super Mario 64. <laughs> I just, I, I, I just started hearing Megalovania again. I, dude, my brain hurts. Somebody trick me, man. I was tricked. The fuck? Oh man. Welcome back to Super Mario 64 on 100 Hour April. But yeah, so <clears throat> the next marathon is going to be Majora's Mask, but like I said, I might be doing Twilight Princess, uh, the optional dungeon, which might take like two or three streams to complete because it's going to be hard. Not as hard as, like, damageless, but it's gonna be a hard challenge. What the fuck? He disappeared and then reappeared? So, um, yeah. Think about doing it. You still playing Mario on crack? Sadly, dude. It's Mario and Sans and Booba and all kinds of shit, dude. I'm losing my mind today. I'm glad that you guys are here to talk to me because, quite, quite frankly, I'm checked out. If, okay, that's actually a good point. I think he, he disappears if I try to punch him, but it's hard to, like, tell how far I am away from him. He always tries to, like... The, like, what's the hitbox? I can't tell how close he is! I can't tell how close he is. I'm trying to do that, too, but, like, it's hard to see in the reflection. Like, try this. I have no idea where he is. Oh, shit! Is that him? Fuck. Hate this guy. Get a real jackass. 
The mission's called Rival in the Reflection or whatever. Or Revival of the Reflection or something. A booba. I knew it was cursed to even try to look up anything about booba, man. That's where I, that was where my first mistake was. It's only been like three days, but since I haven't played damage this, I bet I bet I'm already back to being like awful at that game too. What the hell? Why does everything gotta be so damn dark? Yes, I beat it earlier uh, at the beginning of the stream. That was the first level I did at the beginning of the stream, and I ended up beating it. So that's a win at least. But now I gotta beat this purple song, bitch. But yeah, I beat that level. Heck yeah, that's good. Good. At least we beat something. I hate the small ones. We gotta do the small ones again. I, I just wanna bait them all like to here and then kill them all at once. Uh, what? Oh, sons of bitches. Come on! I gotta fight the purple boos and the boobies and then the boo bombs. Oh god. I'm fine. I'm fine. We're good, chat. We're good. Now that I beat that sinking level, though, I am enjoying this a lot more. I was getting a little bit salty. I'll admit, hey, I'll admit when I'm salty, okay? I'll admit when I'm, I'm being a little bitch. And I was being a little bitch when I was doing the sinking level. I still think that level sucks ass, but, uh... I do want to see this through to the end. We are the milky finishers, after all. Not the milky giver-upperers. Come on! How long is he yellow for? Shit. Okay, here's the boo bombs. Which one's better? Fuck! Looked at chat and then I got nuked. What's better? Dog or cat? What? What? Did I say anything about dogs or cats? What made you ask that? I'm so confused. What did I say that made you ask that? I like both, but I personally, like if somebody made me choose, I guess I, I, I like dogs more. I do like dogs more. But I like both. Dog water? What the hell does that mean? What? Like if I could only have one, I would pick a dog. It would be a pug. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate either either of the animals. There we go, big purple man again. What? I, thought, oh, I was just looking at him. Oh boy. May God have mercy on my soul. Is there any boss in the world that isn't hard as shit when Megalovania plays? Dogs, but... Uh, Cats aren't bad, but you prefer more energetic. Yeah, I kind of like that, too. You know, cats can be a little bit more lazy and lethargic. I mean, dogs can be, too, but for the most part, dogs are kind of like... Blah, blah, blah. Come on! <clears throat> Pi, what's the best SM64 hack ever made that's not made by you? Because I need to play that after I beat this game. <laughs> I need to play the worst one ever, followed by the best one ever. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, 
Oh, dude, I wish so bad I could have an ice cream sandwich right now, man. Oh, I love ice cream sandwiches. Shit. That's kind of how all my friends were, Taters. After 2020, like, none of my friends talk to me anymore. Only, like, one does. One of my friends blocked my phone number and hasn't replied to any of my messages in two years. I think it's because, like, I slightly criticized his girlfriend once. And then I guess that was enough to erase 10 years of friendship. Very strange. Despite being, like, the closest best friends ever for, like, 10 years. See, I guess that's where we're different, Marco. Like, I still miss, like, my best friend, my two best friends. Like, every day. Like, I still dream, like, it, like, I'll always have dreams where, like, we're all still hanging out and shit. Like, I, I, even to, like, this day, I still have, like, dreams where we all, like, all three of us hang out. Because that was, like, every single day for so many years of my life. I mean, every, like, every six to eight months, I'll try reaching out again, but just no reply. Nothing. Not a, not a single word ever back. Yeah. It's unfortunate, dude. Yeah, same with me. You know, it's like, I just, I don't understand. Because, like, to me, when it comes to the people that I like, I really like in my life, like family or friends, like, there's nothing that they could do that I wouldn't, like, forgive them for or something. So it's just very upsetting to me that, like, I don't know. I just, I don't understand why you couldn't at least, like, just talk or something. Just, like, send a message or, like, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. It's very confusing to me. And then my other second friend, I haven't seen in 14 months, sadly. But he's not, he'll, he'll at least message me, you know? I don't think he's a bad person, but it's just a still unfortunate situation. My, my other friend, though, that's pretty inexcusable. That's really cool, Reb. That's really awesome. Yeah, I've, I've kind of given up a little bit of hope, though, because it's been about two years. Like, two full fucking years. So I don't think that... If he hasn't cared to talk to me since then, then I doubt he's going to give a shit to talk to me now. And even then, I mean, I doubt he's even the same person. I don't think any of his interests or things that we liked are even going to be the same. That ever happened, sadly. That's exactly how I uh, am, Taters. Like, it's just sad because, like, the one friend that I had, I knew him in eighth grade we met. And, like, we quickly became really close friends. Like, we were hanging out every single day. And we went to, like, our first ever, like, anime convention together and for years and years we'd like hang out and you know watch different stuff and play games and go to midnight releases and we went to everything we went to like concerts and 
shows and just like for dinner he'd come over for dinner and like hang out and we just have a good time and just laugh like some of the best times just like laughing my ass off watching silly videos and like we would just have in-depth discussions about anime and video games and things that we loved and like just getting excited like genuinely excited to just do goofy shit and to um just see somebody like that uh once he got like you know into a serious relationship to easily just cut uh me out completely like not even like be distant to actually actively block my number for two years and every single text message i send never replied never once but still posts like you know pictures on instagram and shit this is very weird i can't i don't think i could ever do that to anybody i don't think i could ever do that to anybody Plus, now my internet's acting goofy, dude. I've never blocked anybody. Okay, the only people I blocked are like on Twitch when somebody comes in and says like, the like some like something racist or homophobic or crazy shit. I, then I block them, but they're, they're not friends. They're just random people online, you know? People that I've ever had a relationship with I've never blocked, you know? People that I've, like, established a bond with I've never blocked. I blocked strangers, because I don't give a shit, you know? Who cares? Well, thank you, taters. I'm just a silly guy. You had a girlfriend who cheated on you and then tried to lie and get upset when you got upset? Yeah, I don't understand. Sometimes people like to, like, fuck over other people. It, it's like, for some people, it's not enough to fuck somebody over, but they also get extra mad when they're upset that they got fucked over. It's like, you should be, you should just accept that you got it. You should just be happy that I screwed you over. People just want everything. They, they, they want it all and not have to do any work or take any responsibility or repercussions for anything. But, yeah, my other friend, I'm not going to get too much into it because I know he doesn't like me to talk about personal stuff and I'm, you know, I'm not going to dox anybody's name or say anything. My other friend, I understand. I'm not going to say anything, but he has our good reason for why uh, we haven't seen each other. Um, but it, st like, it still is not cool, like, to me, you know? Um, it's not something that makes me like, happy about. But, you know, I'm definitely not happy that we haven't hung out in 14 months over a year now um when we used to hang out like every week or go to pl go places and do fun stuff um this the first friend has no reason blocked my number did not even look at me removed me from everything for no reason just acted like just act just made me just disappear from his life uh but my other friend he at least still texts me we've gotten a little bit more distant you know we used to be like really really best friends like talk every single day for hours about shit um luckily he still messages me but without him and i hanging out in real life doing stuff you're it's just natural you're gonna grow distant you know especially after over a year it's just like it's not gonna be the same but at least he has the decency to still be very kind and nice and still respond to my messages and talk you know, so I, I hold zero ill will towards that. That's funny, Reb. See, I only know one language, so that's something I can't even relate to. Later, Max. It's more unfortunate. Like, I'm not even, like... It's not even that I'm, like, angry or whatever. Like, if it was up to me, I would just want... Just to be friends again. I don't... I don't know how that puts me in the wrong. I don't know how it, like, puts me in the wrong that all I want to do... Um... Is just be friends. That's all I want to do. I don't give a shit about anything else. I'm not even looking for a sorry, dude. I don't even give a shit about an apology or for two years. I don't, I don't have that much pride or that much of an ego. I just want to just hang out. 
Like, if it was up to me, it'd be like, dude, you just want to, like, get... Let's just get some ramen. You want to watch anime? Get some ramen? That's all I... That's all I want. That's literally it. You know? Just call on the phone. Like, tell me... Tell me what you've been up to on the phone. Let me tell you some funny stories about work. Like, that's it. That's... It just blows my mind that, like... You know? I'm not looking for an apology. I'm not looking for... Anything dramatic. I don't give a shit about that. That's not what it's about. I've never, I was never dying at this part. Now I just keep dying at this part, dude. Fuck. Here come the booby brigade. That was the boo bomb, sorry. Oh God, here comes the real jack off. <laughs> well, I don't like them either, Reb, okay? They're trying to literally electrocute me to death. I don't think I would like something that tries to do that. Please! First try. Every time. Easiest boss in the game. Whew. Back to this baloney. This baloney, get it? Craft a star. What the hell does that mean? Yeah, I can only speak one language, and I can barely speak that one. So I, I don't even know what it's like to try to switch between languages in my head. Market's closed. What does it mean by craft a star? What? I don't know what that means. Oh my gosh. I did not know this well was going to go like to a whole freaking planet. Hey, well, what's the point of this? Nice, taters. That's cool. That's very cool, actually. Well, how the do I get out of this? Oh. Yeah, I don't know how to learn Japanese. I just know some words from just watching too much anime. So, like, they'll say words and I know what they mean. That's about it. I don't know how to read. Or write or any of that stuff. This path leads to the only place in the Mushroom Kingdom that's capable of growing the power flower. Because of the curse that the witch cast on us, we have to deal with wild monkeys. Okay. Wasn't there a guy? I don't... Dude, all these toads look the same, so I have no idea which one I'm supposed to talk to. There was, like, one toad who was, like, telling me all these things that I need or something. I don't know. I think it might be this guy by the cage. Yeah, yeah, this guy. Oh, the blacksmith. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he needs a craft a power star, so we need gold, diamond, and a f uh, flower, flower, flower. I cannot believe how many people watch the streams and are, like, speak two different languages. I speak Hylian, which is just English, but with different writing. Actually, Hylian's more Japanese. Because to translate Hylian, you need to translate it to Japanese and Japanese into English. So. My game crashed. What the fuck? Hopefully it saved my progress. I don't know what that shit was, but that was weird. I'm pretty sure it saved my progress, but I'll check. 
Well, not that I don't even remember how many stars I had, but I'll be able to check from the menu. Yeah, okay, it's it saved my progress. We're fine. If you guys ever watch um, the anime Kill a Kill in Japanese, uh, one of the characters from the Elite the Elite Four, one of the villains, his name is Sanagayama, and his voice actor is the same one that voices Link in Ocarina of Time. Uh, he voices Adult Link. So if you ever wanted, if you ever watch Kill a Kill, and Sanagayama is like swinging a sword, you can hear it. But he's the voice of Adult Link from Ocarina of Time and. A lot of the Zelda games. <laughs> no problem, Max. Yeah, so when when he swings his sword and he goes like, ah, yeah, you can you can hear it, but he's the one that voiced Adult Link in Ocarina, which is cool. So if you ever wanted to know what Adult Link sounds like, that's just, that's what he would sound like. It'd be the voice clips. There's a piece of diamond, I then need a fire flower. Why, fire flower, why can I say that? Fire flower and gold. Thank you for the hosts. But yeah. Power, dude, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, if you could see a scan of my brain right now, it's really burnt out. <laughs> way, way too many video games in the dark. But I love you guys, and I would do it all over again. I would do it all over again, and as I die, if I could, it was worth it. Yeah, Zora's Domain, specifically the Ocarina of Time version, is one of my favorite de-stress songs. Like here, where I'll just play it again. That's why I played it when Link was in the Hot Springs. Like here, I'll just... just I'm not going to play it for long. But I like all the versions of Zora's Domain, Twilight Princess, Breath of the Wild, but the Ocarina of Time one is just the best for me, for de-stressing. Like it feels like you're there. It's just so... It's like... I've, I've talked about this a million times, but it's just like... How the hell do they do this with the N64's limited sound font? Like, how did they make the music this good on N64? Where, like, they were so limited. It's, like, ridiculous. Hold up. Koji Kondo is fucking amazing here. Oh, my God, dude. Like, I just close my eyes and I feel like I'm there. I bet the water would be, like, perfect temperature, too. Like, not too hot, not too cold. The waterfall would feel so good on your shoulder, dude. Standing under that waterfall, like massage your shoulders, and you can go into like the uh, ankle deep section or the the knee deep section. Go into the deep end. Oh. Well, too bad you guys didn't vote for Ocarina of Time. <laughs> I'm kidding. That song actually still plays in the uh, Indiegogo's uh, place, so it's fine. We'll hear it anyways. Sorry, Charlations. It doesn't sound like a very fun thing. MC Monk, that's definitely not my relaxation song. This song gives me heart palpitations. Yeah, I was actually playing. Can you guys believe? Uh, there, I had a half hour before I had to go to the store today when I woke up and I ate breakfast. And I, you know what I decided to do? I decided to play more Breath of the Wild for 30 minutes. That was like my only free time I had today when I wasn't like at the store or 
doing stuff or setting up stream. I had 30 minutes to myself today and I played Breath of the Wild more and uh, I just rewatched the Champions Ballad cutscenes and they were just so good. And just getting to see Mifa and everything. Just to rejog my memory while I'm not supposed to go this way. But, uh, I should be back to full energy tomorrow, Chet. I should be back to full energy tomorrow. But I'm having a good stream. I hope that you guys are having a good stream. Last impact is something else. Kind of makes me want to impact my brain with a hammer, but... You know. I actually actively hate the, uh... Second part of that DLC. Uh, there's three main parts. I love the first part, adore the third part, and I hate the second part. Like, how am I supposed to fucking, like, dodge this shit? Please give me those coins, please. PLEASE! This level would actually be, like, competent and cool if it wasn't, like, so damn dark. That's the biggest problem. Wait, so I got the diamond, I got the fire flower, and he says I need a piece of gold, but I have no idea where that is. No problem, Rebel. See you next time. I don't give a shit about these monkeys. I hate them. I don't even like normal, like, monkeys. I get the zoo or anything. Yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow we actually might break the 100 hour. If I start my stream early enough, we can easily break the 100 hour mark tomorrow. Maybe. I'm thinking either tomorrow or Wednesday we'll be able to pull it off. All we need is a piece of gold, but I don't know where it is. Hope to have good internet. Nice. See you next time. See you next time. Hopefully when I have a little bit more energy. My brain isn't like cooked. Like, everything is so dark, dude. Where's the piece of gold? I don't really know, Charlations. I, I'm not actually sure. Um... At least a few days. I don't know if it's gonna be a full week. <clears throat> Just like a few days, you know. It's not gonna be that long or anything. Weird. It's a weird blue coin switch. I guess I think the gold's in the water. It's like my only idea. I've run out of stories to tell today because my head hurts. <laughs> I was looking for gold, okay? That's all we need. We can craft this damn star. Thank you. That means a lot. Sometimes I get scared to take breaks because then I feel like everybody's gonna like not watch the stream anymore. That's just my anxiety. Um, I feel like we need like we need some like really cool like video game news to come out or something. We need like another Nintendo Direct already or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> or like Smash Bros. character or something. I feel like we've been in a new. Well, I guess we're about to be in a news lull because E3 is less than two months away. So. I wouldn't really expect any big information, because a lot of that shit's going to be uh, held for E3. Why is this so dark? 
Is it just dark on my monitor, or is this level really dark for you guys, too? Because, like, I can barely see anything. You've stopped watching them? I understand. Understandable. Okay, cool. People watch Rick and Morty when each episode's two years apart. That's fair enough. Fair enough. If I was a piece of gold chat, where would I be? Again, this reminds me of Twilight Town from Thousand Year Door, but not as badass. God, I just want Paper Mario to be, like, crazy again. Part of me, like, as much as I love Nintendo, deep down kind of wants them to, like, fail. <laughs> because we always get the best games when Nintendo, like, fails. Like, when then, whenever, like, Nintendo's consoles are not selling very well, we always get, like, the best games. Well, like, I mean, like, when, uh, the GameCube was underselling and Nintendo had to really go hard, like, we got games like Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, Wind Waker, Sunshine. Then when Nintendo was doing good with the Wii U, we got games on the Wii U, like, 3D Land and, you know... Hyrule Warriors and then no actual Zelda game and then when the Wii U was selling like shit They they tried to get everybody on the switch with games like Odyssey and Breath of the Wild, you know When Nintendo has to make it or break it with sales. They always go hard with their games No, the monkeys I don't know what they do. I think the, this might be the gold piece. There we go Yay I was supposed to know that because the toad says that people offer gold at the top of the church, but my brain was not even like thinking about that. The toad was literally like, people put offerings like coins and gold at the top of the church. That was supposed to be my hint. So the game was actually pretty intelligent by giving me the hint. Do you want me to craft a power star? Hell yeah, dude, please. I didn't realize it until it was too late. I just want a brightly colored level with, like, badass platforming. Careful, it's hot. Is that too much to ask for, Chet? A level that's bright, easy to see, and just has fun platforming. The Haunted Church, oh boy. The Toad was just like, oh, you got all the materials for me? Do you want me to craft a star? And then he just put all the stuff that we collected in the urn and cooked it up. Nice, sir. Wait, you're making a hack, dude? What's up, vet? <clears throat> like I said, please do not think that I'm in a bad mood, guys, just because, like, I'm, like, sleepy and my head hurts and my throat hurts. I'm actually in a really great happy mood. It's just that I'm tired. <laughs> it's like my body's fucked up, but my soul is happy, if that makes sense. What is this? Who... It, what is this a church for? Giants? Who the hell sits in this booth? Epic Man's mom? Who is this church for? Great, more red coin collecting, my favorite chore. Nice, dude. Well, is it gonna be like a, an extreme hack or some shit? Or will it be something that like I, I could probably play? Stream for sure. Nice. The bomb chew girl emote. The bomb chew girl emote is eternal. No problem, taters. I will see you next time. Have a great night's sleep. You won't miss too much. It's not gonna be that long of a stream tonight, because like like I said, my brain is like feels like it was in a microwave. 
I'm sorry, vet. I'm sorry that some of you guys stayed up so late, but it was such a fun time. I'm just super tired because like I didn't get much sleep and I had to wake up today and I was doing a bunch of errands and stuff. So I've been super tired and burnt out too, which is why I started my stream later. But we're almost at 100 hours. We're going to be hitting 95 hours very soon. We might even hit it tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then 100% on, uh, on, um, uh, Wednesday. Jeez, I can't think. How do I get up there? Hold up. How am I supposed to get up there? Oh, I think I know. Also, Vet, I was saying this. I was like, obviously Majora's Mask is going to be the next big marathon that we do. But I'm thinking about doing a couple smaller Zelda streams. Like how I do my normal streams before we do the marathon. Just so I can have like a, a little bit of a break before we do another 12 hour. Um, <clears throat> so I'm probably going to be doing the... Because it's something I've never done. I've never done it before. I'm going to be doing the... Cave of Ordeals on a three heart challenge from Twilight Princess. I'm going to be trying to beat all of the Cave of Ordeals with only three hearts, which is something I've never been able to do before. So I think I'm going to do that from Twilight Princess. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be kind of like the Zelda version of Damageless. It's not going to be Damageless, but three hearts, no fairies, Cave of Ordeals. Uh, plus, I really, really like the combat of Twilight Princess, so I think that'll be fun, too. If it was like... Because Wind Waker has something similar to that, like on Outset Island where you do a bunch of challenges, but I don't like that one as much as Twilight Princess's version. So I'm going to be doing that uh, probably next week. Just so I can still stream Zelda, but not have to just set aside an entire 12 hours. I just need like a week or two off of 12 hour streams. I did three 12 hour streams this month, and plus I did like three other like six plus hour streams. I just need like a week or two off of, of marathons, that's all. Oh my god! So you- so you've- uh, you never got to meet the Great Fairy at the end? That's your reward, is the Great Fairy and she's really cute. Nice. Well, we'll try to get there. That'll be my motivation. How do I talk to these ghosts? What's up, walking? Welcome to the stream. We're playing more Super Mario Last Impact. Very strange, weird game. Well, welcome. Never even heard of the Cave of Ordeals? Nice. I think that's what it's called, right? I don't know. <laughs> it might have, whatever, it's an optional dungeon in Gerudo Desert. Can I talk to this guy? Like, what's up with these guys? I just chilling. Nice. Well, we'll get to see her. She has cool rainbow wings. So that'll be fun. Because we didn't get to do that dungeon during the Twilight Princess Marathon. I want to be done with this level. Free the witch? I thought the witches were bad. What the hell is going on here? I can't watch, but it has to be done. This is the only way we can find peace again. The fuck? 50 floors and 3 hearts. I know, it's gonna be nuts. We'll finally be free of all those curses. None of us really want to hurt the witch, but we can't deal with the catastrophes happening lately. Are they gonna burn? Is this the witch? Why does the witch look just like all the other fucking toads? Hey, you look like a nice, reasonable person. These people think I'm a bad witch that wants to destroy the village, but I'm not. I might be a witch, but uh, all the booze, the, uh, the gold that went missing, and the angry monkeys, they're not my fault. Uh, they even think I was responsible for the meteor that crushed into the Mushroom Kingdom earlier. And the crazy monkeys. I'm actually a good person. Can you get me my wand? It should be laying in my house on the cupboard. I just need it to get out of here. I'll do some magic for you in return. Okay. Yeah, I always like them as long as they're optional. It's funny how that mentality is different. Like, I hate boss rushes and gauntlets that are mandatory in games because they feel like filler. But I love them when they're optional. And you, you get like a reward at the end. I don't know why. Something about, like, the psychology of it. If, if it's forced upon me, I hate it. But, um, if it's optional and you get something cool out of it, I love it. Yeah. It's not fun. Eh. 
Hey, we found the, the magic wand. Yeah, like a brand new secret boss. That's how, yeah, Thousand Year Door is like that. And that's why I love Thousand Year Door, because it has uh, Bone Tail. And it's one of like the hardest bosses in the game, and it's optional. Skyward Sword's like that. Not with a new boss, but you can do an optional boss rush for the uh, Hylian Shield. And that's so worth it to me. What? You actually fell for it. Now that I have my wand back, I can finally take over the village, dumbass. With the two stars, my power's unlimited. You'll pay for what you tried to do to me. Fucking plot twist, what? I thought they were gonna kill an innocent, but that was actually a bad witch. I'll come and get that star back. One star get, still gives me enough power to take over the village. What the fuck, dude? We actually just freed an evil witch? We're dumb as hell. We're dumb as hell. We just freed an evil witch. Oh my god. Escape the prison? Stop right there. You're arrested for the following crimes. Stealing gold that was meant to be offered to the gods. Freeing the witch that was imprisoned. And with that, putting our village into huge danger. Your punishment is a lifelong prison sentence. Okay, this just got really cool. What the hell? What the hell? Now we're in jail? This just got really sick. What the fuck? What are you in for, buddy? Yo, isn't that the legendary Mario? What did you do to end up in a prison like this? What am I doing in here? Well, the flood is- uh, the food's free, the drinks are free, and I get to sleep indoors. Yeah, you can get out of here anytime if you're a good digger. Uh, you wouldn't fit in the manhole, but, uh, a mole hole, but luckily for you, we already dug a hole into the wall behind the box. The witch uh, that got in prison here earlier. Holy shit, dude. We're breaking out of jail. I'm actually really interested in this. Shit. Oh, the level wasn't so damn dark. How do I... Uh, maybe I should go this way. That was hard. Sweet! Now what? Oh gosh. Do I have to evade the guards or something? I do! The guards saw me! What the hell? Oh shit! Okay, stealth mission in a Mario game? Let's go, dude. Alright, I'm on board with this. I'm on board with this. Stealth mission in Super Mario? I'm down, I'm down. Yeah, time for Metal Gear Solid. Alright, alright. I'm down, I'm down. Shit. The moles were trying to help the witch escape as well. Well, that's why they deserve to be in jail. I mean, Mario kind of does deserve to be in jail because even if he didn't know, like, all the toads had it under control and he literally just gave, like, a magic wand back to a criminal. So, I understand why they'd be mad. I feel like they have every right to be. Later, uh, Jello. Hopefully at a good time, dude. Right. I want the guard to see me. How am I supposed to evade this? Ah, oh, there's a way up here, okay. Colonel! I don't think this gives me enough distance to wall jump off of. Never mind, it does. It's hard though, what the fuck? Dude, I got just saw by the guard! I will admit, this is a very, very creative uh, level. Very, yeah, I know, right? He's trying to evade the guards, but he screams wahoo every time he jumps. He's like the loudest prison escapee I've ever heard of.
you son of a bitch. I suck at this, man. Come on. I need more water. I need water. What are you guys having for dinner? I want you guys to make me jealous. If you already ate dinner, what did what did you have? Or if you haven't eaten dinner, what are you planning to have? Luckily, my family made uh, some grilled chicken sandwiches. So I'm looking forward to that shit. Grilled chicken sandwiches are the shit. But I want to hear your guys' dinner plans. Oh, egg and sausage sandwich sounds so good, dude. Oh my gosh. I never, like, I'm not a big breakfast eater, but I like breakfast foods, you know? Like, I love waffles, I love eggs, I love, you know, pancakes, something like that. But I just, like, I, mean, I don't have much of an appetite in the morning. Chocolate muffin and orange juice. Nice. For dinner? It's crazy. I See, I can't eat breakfast foods for dinner. I can have them for, like, lunch or something, but I don't know. That's why I never get to eat a lot of breakfast foods. Come on, dude. I didn't even know where he was. That was hard. You hate cereal, but he'll eat it anyway. Holy shit, that's pretty funny. Now, cereal is good. I like Captain Crunch and... Cocoa Puffs and all that stuff. Why am I stuck in here? Yeah, I can't have milk, right, for a while. But I could make cereal with almond milk. I don't know if it would taste the same, but... I would rather eat dry cereal than cereal with water, though. I can't do cereal with water, man. Hell no. It's gotta be milk or nothing. I've heard of quite a few people eating cereal with water, sadly. You've had cereal with water? I just can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. That's a cereal killer's last meal. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't do it. I'd rather just have it dry at that point. I'd rather just eat it with nothing. Oh, how the fuck am I supposed to get past these guards, dude? Like, how do I get past these guys? Like, how do I get up there? Why this has to be so hard? I don't know, man. I don't think I can do it anyways. I think I would just rather have it dry no matter what. This is surprisingly challenging. I'm dead! I'm dead! Come on! I finally made it far! Dude, Mario, why did you do that? Dude, we were supposed to sneak past the prison guards. Bullshit. Aw, oh, we were so close. I didn't even notice I could run in that cutscene. That was weird. I gotta watch that video. Tonight when I eat dinner, Charlations, I'm gonna watch that video you sent me about the Zonai ruins or whatever. Probably when I have my dinner. That's when I'll watch it. Probably be the first time I had free time in a while in a few, like, four days. <laughs> Come on, Mario! Why is it so hard? Just wall jump and go in the hole! God, I can always- I can- I can watch. Now I'll be able to do it easily. Now that all my life is gone. Yep, every time. Now that all my life is gone, easily, easily get it. Yep. Yep, can't do it when my life is full. No, no, no. Now I'm dead anyways. Pop. Yeah. Mia. 
I know some people want Breath of the Wild 2 to have like co-op or something. I don't know. I don't think I would want that. Or if it if I did, I, I don't know if I'd want to play it that way. I don't even know if the Switch could handle like Breath of the Wild chugs with its frame rate with one person. How the hell are you gonna have like split screen? Maybe that's what the Switch Pro is gonna be for. I don't know, who knows? It's very crazy how shrouded in secrecy that game is. One day we'll know the real title, and I and I can stop calling it Breath of the Wild 2. Mario's a plumber and an acrobat. Fair enough, fair enough. I guess, but the co-op in Odyssey is like a joke. Like, one person controls Mario, and the other person can, like, make the hat move a little bit. That's not the same at all, I don't think. That's like when you have like a, a younger sibling who doesn't know how to play games and you give them like, like, see, Cappy, that's you. And then they just shake the controller and it makes Cappy move. It's not like it has like full on dead ass like Mario Luigi at the same time shit. It's like half assed co-op. Go, 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 go. Hell am I? Okay, I don't want to get caught by the guards. Where are they? Why are there so many guards everywhere, man? Why is it so dark in here? I don't want to get... I don't want to get caught. Guy's trying to break out of prison. How do I get around these guys though? What the fuck? What am I supposed to do? Where do I go in this room? I get around these guards. Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh, is that a hole in the floor? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Aha! Okay, never mind. Found another vent. Found another air duct chat. This reminds me of Gerudo Fortress. Are uh, the more specifically the Gerudo Pirate Fortress? Talk about a secure prison. I know they just have all the vents off, all the ducts all the time. It's like a trope in every like prison escape game. You always go through the vents as if like they don't check that shit. I win. I win. I win. Let's go. That was cool. Hell yeah, let's go. One more. Save the village. Final mission. What? Oh god, is that the witch? Where the fuck's the witch at? How am I supposed to fight her? I'm still wanting convicts. Well, I think that if we defeat the witch and kill the witch that's burning the village, I think then they will absolve us of our crimes. Where is the witch, though? How am I supposed to do damage to her? This is nuts. Then we'll be... They'll, they'll pardon us for our crimes. Oh. That was so easy. Holy shit. That was the easiest boss fight in the whole world. Compared to the purple... Compared to the purple Megalovania guy? What the hell was that shit? That's final take. Guess what? Now we never gotta play that level again. Please let the next level be bright and not dark and dingy so my eyes don't hurt. Alright. Lava, please. Let the next level be better. That was the boss fight. We killed the witch. That was, the witch was like, with, with the power of one star, I'm invincible. And we just did a one-shot. Melty Molten Mountains. 
All right, this is already better. I don't have to, like, squint my eyes to see where the hell I'm going. This already looks way more fun. All right. Cl climb her up the volcano. I got this. Oh, hell yeah. I finally can see again. What is this? Holy shit. What are these enemies? Yo, oh my gosh. The music's cool. Finally, a sick level. I'm looking all day for one. Finally, chat, a sick level is here. Is that Silver Star shit? Yeah, the, 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 I was thinking about that. The Freezies, they're in Super Smash Brothers too. Um, they're the Freezies, but Fireies. We're back on Death Mountain, yeah, right? It's kind of what it feels like. Oh, and this music's really good. It's a Blarg! Oh my gosh, it's a Blarg! What does he do, though? Does he do anything besides look at me menacingly? This level is officially the best one we played. Okay, he moves. Okay, oh shit. I don't know if I want to know, well, know what he does now. Is he gonna eat me? Very strange. Damn it. This level's gigantic, by the way. Holy shit. There's a star over there, but I don't know how to go to I did not know that that was going to be a cannon. I had no idea that was going to be a cannon. Am I dead? Where the hell am I? I'm fucked. I had no idea where that was going to lead, dude. I didn't even know what I was aiming for. I was just, I don't know, just said to get on top of the volcano. Looks like it's like, a, uh, okay, it's like all the way under and shit. All right. This is a gigantic level. No, stop breathing fire on me. Is it down? Okay, there it is. That's where I need to go down here. Gotcha. No, 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 I'm not, oh, I, I might be dead. I'm dead, come on, I didn't want to die there, it's so lame. How come Mario didn't say game over that time? Oh, bullshit. Uh, what, why is Princess Peach here? What the fuck's going on? Uh, Mario, I've listened to the stories of the people around the Mushroom Kingdom, and it looks like we are under attack right now. Someone is stealing our planet's energy. They probably think that we, uh, they probably also are the ones responsible for the moon getting closer. We found some building on the moon that's probably where they operate from. The only way to stop them is to. What is going on? Well, hello there. I'm guessing you don't need this thing anymore. What's that you do? Well, too bad I'm taking it. I see you've gathered quite a lot of energy. It is from those power stars everyone keeps babbling about. What a wonderful coincidence. I happen to need them. How about a trade? You bring me 80 stars and I'll give this thing back. Who knows, maybe if you accept it, I'll also stop the moon from crushing your kingdom. Well, if you don't want to, that's fine too. It's not like that'll be the end of the world. Just kidding. It will be the end of the world. <laughs> See ya. I think Peach is dead. 
I think Peach is dead. <laughs> they took her somewhere. I don't know where the hell they took her. But we need 80 stars to get her back, dude. Is she really worth it? Is Princess Peach really worth it? Yo, what up, Icy? Does Yoshi? What's Yoshi gotta say about this? He probably like, Mario, I'm hungry. Bleh. Hey Mario, I came here to find yummy stuff. I knew it. I knew he was just gonna talk about food. The music's really creepy. She belongs to the moon now. That was. I don't know. I don't know why what happened. I didn't do anything. I died, and then Princess Peach got abducted. Maybe it has to do with how many stars I just got. I have no idea. But that was very strange. Um. Try the fire ice level again. Very, very strange. Also, chat, we're almost at 95 hours of 100 hour April. Man, thank you guys for sticking with me. This has been a crazy challenge. Again, I don't know, maybe tomorrow we might break the 100. Tomorrow. Either tomorrow or Wednesday. I don't know how long of a stream I'm going to do tomorrow. Uh, we will break the big 100 hours live here on the Milky Finishers. That's going to be nuts. I told you guys, no matter what, I'm going to try this challenge. And now, here we go. We're at almost 95. Dude, fuck you, scuttlebutt. You son of a bitch. Whoop his ass. But honestly, as much as I love you guys and I love streaming, I think a few days off will be good for my brain, you know? Um, it'll help me be more creative and get to doing some YouTube stuff that I've been wanting to do. Am I dead? Okay, I'm not. I've been wanting to do some YouTube videos and just relax and edit for the tournament and stuff like that. So, it'll just give me a good refresher. It's going to be a good break. Usually I take a break because I'm burnt out, like depressed. But this will be a good break. Like, you just take a rest after you run a marathon, you know what I mean? And bada boom bada bing, 95 hours. Damn. The big 95. What a crazy journey it's been. Some of my favorite streams of all time have taken place this month. Some of my favorite streams of all time have happened this month. And I'm so thankful and happy. Windows 95, the stream. Shit. I was so scared to fall in the lava. I don't like these fiery guys. Very, very cool, very cool. Breathe fire on me, yep. Dude, shut up. Why'd you have to bring up Lightning McQueen? Now I want it to be the 96 hour mark. <laughs> A high 96 hour mark. I did not even realize I could have been skipping that cutscene this entire time. I still can't get over that booba shit, dude. <laughs> what the hell? Why was that made? Who made that shit and why? Is my question to the world. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't even... Dude, my brain... I, I can't even tell what's real life anymore. All I know is Mushroom Kingdom and Hyrule. What am I doing? I'm trying to get the star. I just keep dying because it's really hard. I'm actually going to try to approach it from this angle, though. Try to cheese it. Right. 
Crescent and cheese it by doing a long jump from here. Actually, I probably need a long jump. There we go. Now we're moving along, dude. Speedrunner's movement. Never mind, I suck ass the game. How the hell am I supposed to get up there? This camera angle, please. Camera, please. Thank you, Death Perception. Thank you, Death Perception. Always looking out for me. Always looking out for my best interests. Making sure I jump in the lava, not the platform. I see that emo didn't even work right. Wait, why does that emo not work right? What happened? Also, I see. I know you probably don't want to get rid of the yellow bit badge, but I might change anyways. But uh, if you look at your uh, bit badges, Icy, you might see a surprise that you can have if you alter, if you uh, change the way you look. Yeah. Point is, go into your settings and look at all your bit badges, and there might be something cool. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but I'm testing something out. I just want to see if you think it looks cool or if it looks like shit. I want to know if we should flush it or keep it. It's temporary. I know, but should I keep it or flush it? Can we see? Pop had it, but I think he had to leave the stream. I'm only just temp- I don't know if I like how it looks yet. It should be the one directly under the yellow one. I'm just testing it out. I'm not sure if I like it quite yet, but let's see. It's a flex in and of its own right. Wait, I did not want to go up here. Why did I go up here? Yeah, yeah, it's the Majora's Mask. I was just, I was just testing out the Majora's Mask. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of like it, but it also kind of looks too small at the same time to like distinguish what it is. It looks awesome. Okay, if you guys like it, well, don't worry, Icy. Um, I'll, I'll I'll come up with a yellow one too. I'm just I'm thinking. You can you can switch back to yellow, but I'll, I'll give you a cool yellow one in the future. It's just taking me a bit because of the gotta size it, submit it. I just I'm just I wasn't sure if the Majora's Mask one looks good or not. That's true, Ludwig. That's true. That's possible. But, I mean, at least you can, like, see what it is. It does look pretty cool. But... No, I, just I just wanted to see what it looked like in the chat. Thanks. You, you can switch back to the yellow one if you want. I just wanted to, uh, see what it looked like. Like, in chat. If it was, like, easily recognizable. Alright, can I do this shit, or are we just gonna be... Smoking crack all day long here. Please! Yes! Yes! Um. It's funny that you say that, Ludwig, because I, I think it's easier to see in mobile for some reason. No, but the one with the shorter spikes wasn't the right file image. Like, it was a JPEG instead of a PNG file. Yeah, I actually think it's easier to see in mobile than it is on desktop for me. I don't know why. That does, I know it doesn't really make sense. I'd have to. I have to ask her about the shorter pointing things. Come on. Let's go, dude. Now what? Though I'm nervous. I don't want to die now. I've been. I definitely don't want to do this stoner ass level again. Whoa! Chill out there, Mario. Damn, this is hard shit, dude. They're asking a lot of the player. Dude, I'm 
camera, please. Can't see jack diddly shit. There we go. Did I win? What's in here? Is this where I win? I don't know. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I don't I have no idea. Oh yes. Uh It's very stressful and I can't see because the camera. Oh my gosh! Woohoo! 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 Come on, Mario! What are you doing there, buddy? Oh man, that was way more stressful than it should have been. Way more stressful than it should have been. Clamber up the volcano. That was Frosty Veers. Man, I'm all out of water, too. What, this ice, too? There's fire and ice? Okay. Interesting. There's a level in Super Mario Galaxy that's like this. I think it's called like Freezy, Freeze Flame Galaxy or some shit like that. I guess it's just a different area. But there, yeah, there's a, a level in Super Mario Galaxy called Freeze Flame Galaxy and it's fire and ice mixed. Is this a Game of Thrones reference though? I, would, I don't know. I, I never actually watched a single episode of that or read any of the books or anything. So I don't know jack shit about Game of Thrones. All I remember is that everybody was having, like, a mental breakdown because I guess the show or whatever had, like, a bad ending or something. I don't know. The only time, like, the only people I knew that watched it were, like, normies at my job that I, that I hated. <laughs> what the fuck? What an introduction to the show. Jeez. Please. Please! What is it? What? I could have cheesed this, dude! I could have just gone in from the top of the crater! What the hell? I played that stoner ass level for hours and I could have just cheesed it like that? Dude, I'm pissed. Yep, yeah, okay, fuck people like that, Charlations, because I knew somebody. Wait. Let's go, dude, we're Fire Mario again. Um, I knew people like that too. And I grew up with Lord of the Rings and I loved it, but I don't like Game of Thrones. Lord of the Rings is like a fantasy adventure with like bombastic music and war. I'm not saying Game of Thrones is bad, but Game of Thrones is like political and drama. One of them's like a political drama, and one of them's like all about war and spectacle and, and the world and the ring. It's I just love, you know, it's so different. Why? Because they're both like medieval fantasy? That's it? Zelda's medieval fantasy, and that's nothing like Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones. Um, I, yeah, everybody said that to me like, dude, why don't you watch Game of- Come on, man! I lost my firepower. Everyone's like, how come you watch Game of Thrones? You love Lord of the Rings. I'm like, dude, they're not the same. They're not the same. Also, that's pretty crazy that the music changed. That's kind of cool. The music changed when I went into the ice area. I kind of like that. I've actually been wanting to rewatch the Lord of the Rings movies, which I have not seen them in probably about six years. I want to get them on... They, they released them on that, like, new 4K Blu-ray disc. Like, they have them on Amazon, and it's all three of the movies, extended editions. So they're all, like, the four-hour cuts, and it's of the 4K, and I have a 4K TV and a 4K Blu-ray player now. So I, I've never gotten to see them in that good of quality, and I kind of want to. Yeah, you can see underneath the ice. There's got to be a way under there, because there's, like, a bunch of shit under there, right? Yeah, there's got to be, like, a way underneath the ice. Oh, it's, it sounds so good, so... I've been looking for... Ooh! I've been looking for an excuse to, uh, rewatch those films. I'm not even, like, a huge, like, movie buff, but I love those, because I just grew up with them. The switches in front of you react to heat. What?
The switches in front of you react to heat. What does that even mean? Oh, you think that I needed the fire flower? What if there's one in this box? There might be one in this box. Oh, what? This is an ice flower. Whoa, Ice Mario is kind of badass. That's kind of cool. You can freeze Goombas. Hell yeah, okay. I kind of like this, but is, is, so is this one the fire flower then? Because that's what I need. Aha! Trying to go fast. I think it lasts until you take damage. I'm trying to go fast, chat. I want to go fast. Damn, I don't think I'll be able to do it. Oh, how long are the frozen Goombas? Can I un throw them up? I can melt them. Speed run? No, I no, I have to do it. Come on, should not be this hard. You got this, Mario. God damn it! I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Chug run, true. There we go. There we go. Is it patched out? I, I wonder if you can't do it in this. That's sad. Well, oh well. Um, there's a glitch where if you do a backwards long jump on a texture where it's like smooth like that, that it makes Mario like shoot off like into the distance at like supersonic speeds. Like, he, like, shoots at, like, a thousand miles an hour. That's pretty nuts. Oh, I can melt these. Okay. Okay, well, I melted them, but now what? Like, who fucking cares? I'm still confused as to what to do. Oh, you guys are geniuses. Oh my gosh, you guys are so smart. So yeah, I needed to melt the red ones. And this guy's still frozen. I'm gonna let him, he's gonna be like the Captain America of Goombas. In a hundred years, they're gonna melt them out. And he's like, what year is it? Oh yeah, freeze the blue ones. Wow, I'm just dumb, I guess. That's actually really freaking smart. That Goomba's getting left frozen though, because he's a piece of shit. Okie dokie. Boom. 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 And... Boom. Did I mess something up? Maybe you guys were wrong. Was the chat wrong? The, the red ones are, uh... Huh. Oh, never mind. We're done. The door's open. <laughs> it just didn't play a sound effect. I thought it was going to play like a Zelda sound effect. The door, the door did open. That door was shut. So we were right, but it was just, uh, didn't play like a sound effect. Oh god, we gotta do this again, though? Oh no. Or no. What the fuck is this? And wh what are these? Explosives rolling around? I'm so confused. Oh! Uh, wait, hold up. I'm trying to figure out what we're supposed to do here. There's bombs and snowballs rolling. I'm just trying to think, what's our objective here? To get the snowballs in the in the thing? I, don't, I have no idea. Do you think there'd be like a sign to tell us like... I'm assuming we're just trying to fill up all the holes with snowballs, right?
So is that gonna blow up the snowball? This is gonna be hard as shit. We gotta fill up all the holes with snowballs, but we gotta we have to also make sure that a bomb doesn't blow it up. Oh my gosh, this is a lot to process right now. This is actually really cool, I agree, but it's it's a lot to uh a lot to process. Shut up. No, please! Wait, was there even a snowball in that one? I'm like, why was I even worried? Did I win? There's one more hole that has to be chugged. I'm gonna shove it. Oh, I need the freezing one. I need a snowball to come out of here. Oh god. Wait, hold up. There's a bomb coming. Can I just blow it up? Shit! No, fuck! This is hard! No, I don't have enough time, dude! He's gonna blow up the snow, Paul! Oh my gosh, this is a very intricate. Okay, now that one's plugged up. Jeez, there's a lot to micromanage here. Uh, which one do I need now? This one? This one. Come on, we see the snowball here. No, no, not a bomb, not a bomb, not a bomb, not a bomb! Snowball. Oh. Snowball, please. Fuck, you're right, I should've thought the one was complete, no! No, I'm gonna lose everything! I'm gonna lose all my fucking progress! <laughs> Damn it. There's so many bombs, dude, we did und und undid everything! It undid everything, man. Stop, stop! Stop, <laughs> I didn't have fire. Now we're back at square fucking one. But the problem is, it's a grid, so I can't melt all of them. It's like, it's hard, it's hard to explain. It's not funny, main dog. Damn it. Okay, this is gonna fill up this hole. All of them are frozen. This one's a bomb, I don't care about that one yet. This snowball is gonna fill up that one. Okay, good, 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 good. So wait, I should melt this and then this, right? Shut up, yeah, okay. No, 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 wait, I don't care about that. Now we should be good, right? All of them should be blocked besides the one that we need. Right? Yeah, yeah. They shouldn't be able to get anywhere. Unless... Okay, no, we're good. Woo! That was the ticket. Damn, that was actually really cool. That was actually really awesome. I had, I had an insane amount of fun with that. Hot cold puzzle. That was awesome. However, chat, Mario said it best. I'm a tired. So, uh, hold up. Full screen. That is going to be it for me tonight. I told you guys it was going to be a short stream. I want to eat some dinner, get a good night's sleep, and then tomorrow, if we go insane mode, we might even hit the 100 hour mark tomorrow. I just figure as long as I get a good night's sleep and relax a bit, um, I'm gonna do some video editing and then we'll be back with another stream tomorrow. Cause like I said, daily streams until we hit 100 hours. I don't know if we'll do it tomorrow or if we hit it short and then we gotta do one Wednesday. Either way, you guys are awesome. I hope they get a fun stream. Sorry I was a little bit tired, but we still have some good stuff. And if you missed anything, uh, feel free to uh, check out the YouTube channel. All right. And I'll talk to you guys in Discord and more streams coming up starting tomorrow. So you guys rock and I'll see you next time.